find the area of a regular octagon of 3 centimeters using trigonometry. Now this is octagon uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H uh, of 3 centimeters. So each side is of 3 centimeters and you want to find the area of this octagon. So say O is the center of the octagon. Center of the octagon means a point which is equidistant from all the vertices. So O is equidistant from all the vertices so what how can we write that that we can write as oa is equal to ob is equal to oc is equal to is equal to oh all the sides are equal so if you want to find the area of this octagon is same as finding the area of triangle aob times the Eight times the area of one triangle will give you the area of the octagon. So let's write that area of octagon, area of uh, this octagon is nothing but eight times area of one triangle, any any one triangle. So let us take triangle AOB. If you know area of triangle AOB and then times it by eight will give you the area of the octagon. So let us look at this triangle A O B. So first can we find this? Suppose let us call this X. So if this is X, this is also X, this is also X. All the angles are X because they are angles subtended at the center. So there are how many X's? 8X. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, let me change color. So, can I say 8x is equal to how much? Angle that a point adds to 360. So, 8x is equal to 360. So, x is 360 divided by 8, which is, say, 180 divided by 4, which is 90 divided by 2, which is 45 degrees. I'm trying to do without the calculator wherever possible. So I'm halving this, again halving this, so it's 45, so x is 45 degrees. So if you know this, can we find this? What can you say about these two angles? Angle A or angle OBA and OAB. They are base angles of an isosceles triangle. Okay, so hopefully you know that base angles <coughs> of an isosceles triangles are equal. So if this is Y... I can say this is also y, okay? So I can say y plus y plus 45 is 180. So 2y is taking, <clears throat> 2y is 180 minus 45, which is 135. So y is 67.5 degrees. So I can say this angle, both these angles are 67.5 degrees. So now you may be wondering why am I doing this? So let us, I have made some videos on sine rule and cosine rule. <clears throat> now area of a triangle, these are the three rules which are helpful in practical trigonometry. So area of triangle is, <coughs> excuse me, this is a triangle ABC where this lowercase a is the side opposite to angle a, lowercase b is the side, op side opposite to angle b, and so on. So area of a triangle is half a b sine c. <clears throat> so it's very simple to remember area of a triangle. It is two si half of the product of two sides and the angle included between the two sides. So angle c is included or made by a and b or it is half BC sin A or half AC sin B. This is area of a triangle of a non-right angle triangle. And this is the sine rule, which is A over sine A. A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. You can also flip this over if you want to find angle. And this is the cosine rule, which is, again, A squared equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc sine a. Now, this is very simple again to remember. If you start with a squared, you have to write b squared plus c squared minus 2bc. 
and if you start with a you have to write sine a so you may wonder how will you start with b squared if it is b squared it will be c squared plus a squared minus 2 c a times sine oh this should be not sine uh, this should be cosine because it's a cosine rule so it should be cos a okay it's good too so this is cosine rule 2 cos b or this is c and a includes say, a, say b and c includes angle a oh, sorry b and b and c yeah b and c includes angle a and a and c where is a a and c includes angle b so i'm not going to much detail i hope you can write c squared okay so yeah which of these rules are we going to use you can use either sine rule or the cosine rule but i like the sine rule to use here so how can i write the sine rule uh, i want to find say let us let me call o a o a and o d both if o, if o b is d this will also be d each of them are d so can i say uh this is 45 so let me remove the x there so that you can see we're dealing with this is 45 degrees so can i say using sine rule using sine rule what can I say using sine rule I'll start with D D over sine of the opposite angle of sine 67.5 is equal to 3 over sine 45 okay so making D the subject across multiplying I hope you understand D is 3 sine or 3 times sine 67.5 divided by sine 45 so I need to use my calculator so let me delete this so this is 3 sine 67.5 divided by sine 45 you can't see my working which is 3.91 I'm going to save this as a so arrow alpha a so 3.919 is uh, D. I want the whole number. I'll, I don't want to round it at this stage. Now, you should not round at this stage because this is called a rounding error because you should do rounding only at the last step. This is not the last step. This is uh, an intermediate step. So, I'll say this is equal to uh, 3.919 dot 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 that is saved as A. Okay. Now using area of a triangle, area of a triangle is two sides, half of product of two sides times the sine of the included angle. So yeah, uh, let me delete this. So I can say so area of triangle AOB, area of triangle AOB is half times D squared which are the two sides and times times sine of 45 so d squared times sine 45 which is equal to half times a squared because d i've saved as saved as a times sine 45 okay so, uh, so therefore area of triangle area of hexagon or sorry octagon area of octagon would be eight times eight times half times a squared times sine 45 which is nothing but four a squared sine 45 is the area of the octagon so i will so this is equals yeah so shift alpha a squared sorry four times shift uh, a squared times sine 45 is the answer 43.46 
in 2 dp 43.46 cm squares 43.46 am i right 43.46 cm squared this is point cm squared is the area of the octagon and this is rounded to two decimal places